Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's get over the firewall of death. That's just over here. That's yeah, you we recall that in the last part. That's why you need the hook shot or long shot target. Excuse me. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fish food. Um I am going to blast you guys as best I can without getting lasered. Normally there's Anubises in this room. I didn't really get to show you the movement patterns of Anubises. Those are those floating, well, Anubis head looking things. <laughs> well, basically those things uh, mirror your movements. So in a room like this where there's bottomless pits and these thin walkways, Anubises would be far more threatening than the room we first met them in. Come on, just blow it up. There we go. Now, what does that do? It opens that, apparently, and gives me the treasure chest. And why are there Song of Time blocks in this room? I have no clue, arrows. Why are you there? <laughs> well, I guess I should move these. Just to be safe, I suppose. I mean, these blocks wouldn't be here for no purpose, would they? Would they? That wouldn't surprise me in Master Quest. Wait, there is Green Navi over there. Well, um... Let's try it here. Nope. I was a little bit too quick on my finger combinations there. That didn't do anything. Dang it! <laughs> I guess the Song of Time block apparently can't be heard over there. Let's hope that he hears me this time. Whatever that top block there is supposed to do, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, that one moved over there. That, oh, there's a crate up there. But why is there a crate? Is that something that I'm supposed to take into the next room? Um, hmm... But come to think of it, I don't have the resources for the next room. Because, yeah, I don't have a key to open anything up. Huh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, I I wonder if I'm supposed to go back to that other room that, the tre that I made the treasure chest appear with the Megaton Hammer as a kid and see if that has a key in it. Because I don't recall there being anything else that I could get. Yeah, because the one... the treasure chest in that middle room there is likely triggered by those silver rupees. The one treasure chest in the room as a kid likely is um, something, and probably a key, because I don't see anything else. Oh, there's that one treasure chest back in the room that leads to the boss room. I'll go check there first. You know, I realized that I missed something here. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I couldn't see it before. I should have paid a little closer attention to my map. By the way, I should mention right now, you do not need to see the treasure chest as you're opening it. That's a recovery heart, and that doesn't help me in the slightest. So there's one treasure chest that I haven't had access to just yet. Be back here as a kid. <laughs> I think this would be an appropriate time to tell you guys just how much I love the music in this temple. My, one of my favorite songs in the game, actually. Definitely my favorite temple music in the game. This and Gerudo Valley, my favorites. By far. Now here's the chest. What do you give me? Oh my god, it does make you travel back and forth through time. Tricky, tricky. Back to adulthood. Wow, is it me or do those guys take a lot of hits? Anyway, I'm back into this room just because, well, I can be, and I figured that I would get that gold skull tula that is up in that corner. I don't remember which of these blocks were the one that allowed me to trigger it. This one that was in the corner just to the right there. That one called a wall master down onto me, so don't use that block, that's for sure. 
I don't recall the ah the one I need to use though. So this could take me a little while until I manage to find the one, but once I do, I'll be very happy, and then I'll just be able to get the Skulltula, and we'll be out of here. Lickety split. <laughs> one more push. And... That doesn't do it. <laughs> what does that one... Oh, that must have been the one that gave me the treasure chest before. Uh, how about this one? Maybe this will be the lucky one that will give me ow that will give me all the answers i need to this puzzle perhaps eh, 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 i'm not gonna take damage but i just don't feel like <laughs> switching the fire on and off every time i want to push a block around that's kind of inconvenient if you ask me <laughs> i'd rather take the hit and save a little bit of time than uh yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, oh, this is taking forever. It's probably one of the furthest blocks. Oh, why does this have to take so long? Yeah, this one's a fl uh, floor wall master. I was gonna say floor master again. Yeah, it's one of those two blocks. Because this one opens the doors. Actually, I will have to push that one into the light anyway. This is the last block, so it's gotta be the one. I moved all the other ones out of the way. Uh, and... Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Ouchie, ouch. But it saves so much time. At least I think it does. And... Wow, this takes so long. Grabby, nope. I said grabby, and not climby. Ow. <laughs> Just sneak my... Sneak myself in here? There we go. Okay, maybe that didn't save too much more time, if any at all. <laughs> and... His hand was right... I mean, his... Yeah, his hand was right in the fire, and he didn't take any damage there. Strange, if you ask me, which you probably shouldn't question the game logic, and there we go. This better be it. I'm a little tired of block pulling, and I don't want to come back into this room again. Yes! So that means I can just do this. I said I can just do this. Look around, and... Nick ye ol Skulltula and Hookshot ye ol Token and it's actually the long shot. <laughs> oh boy, look at that locked door! It's open now, alright. Now we've got our self progress. No, I don't think so. This room I recall being very, very annoying in the original one if you climbed up here the normal way. But if you just did that, did it by, uh... Oh, I thought, I thought you could long shot your way up these walls. Unless you just can't long shot... Oh, you can grab onto stuff like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you can't grab onto the moving walls, but you can grab onto the stationary walls. So, I'm gonna kill you. And you too, preferably. If at all possible. Um... That's going to be a tough task, isn't it? <laughs> You're just going to make things hard on me, aren't you? I think what would be best is if I grab onto here and then just like drop down into the other rupees. I think that would be the fastest method possible. Like, line yourself up to... Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, line yourself up to the... Uh, where each rupee is and just let go of the ledge and then you'll drop right into the rupee even though it'll, it'll cause a little bit of damage along the way I think it's pretty worth it. No, no <laughs> The reason why I think it's worth it is because this takes a lot less time to do so success and that Does something I have no idea what the heck that did. I think it opened the door up there or At least it sounded like it opened the door and we got a slugma. 
And yeah, you can hit this with your sword as an adult, but not as a kid, so that creates quite the puzzling situation. What is behind this door? No way. Another locked door. Oh my god. Well, there's that Triforce mark, which probably opens that door. So let's just... No, 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 no. I want to... Yeah, that's what I thought. And I think I'm going to go through that door in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.